Welcome back. I'm Leslie and welcome to my studio. Today I'm going to be painting. And it's the first time I've painted on camera. <laughs> so, <clears throat> excuse me, it's also something I've never like, I don't normally paint on an easel, to be honest. I usually paint on a like, flat surface, so this is kind of a new experience to me in lots of ways. All right, so today I am going to be painting a galaxy style painting. I absolutely love space. It's one of my favorite things. Um, <clears throat> I have a couple of space paintings up in my bedroom right now. And so I'm going to do one with you guys if you want to follow along. Um, I'll take the time right now to show you what my supplies are. So. Let's check that out. So I have here my art supplies. This is just my tray table that I have set up. I have my paints, my water, brushes I plan to use, palettes, a couple extra things. I will put descriptions of everything down in the description. Um, let's get painting, guys. All right, and we're back. So. I have everything already prepped up. I have the colors that I want in the trays that I want. Uh, I'll go over the colors with you in the description, like I said, um, but really I just have pink, purple, a bluish green, a light blue works too. Um, I have a matte black and titanium white. And you wanna make sure you're using a matte black, which I am currently using this right now. It's like I have very little left. I have some of the um, shiny acrylics, I guess. This right here is the shiny stuff. I don't really care for it um, because I can't mix it with all my others. So really I'm just using craft paint kind of and some level one paints. I really, I've been using acrylics for the past two, three years but I'm really excited to dive into some oils that I ordered online. So right now this setup is temporary until I get all my stuff. Anyway, let's get into it. So I covered this with, I don't even know how to pronounce it, a gesso. Uh, I will write down in the description what I used basically to get kind of like a flat base, kind of like when you're priming a wall before you're going to paint it. So I am using a three inch flat brush for this and we're just going to kind of do X's and try to fill in all of those little cracks, whatever they are from the canvas that gives it that canvas texture. I don't really know a whole lot, honestly. I usually just wing it. I see something online that I like and I'm like, hey, let me try that. Um, and lately I really haven't even been able to do anything like that because I've been so wrapped up in dealing with my stupid job that stresses me out more than anything, to be completely honest. So this is why I started painting, was because with everything going on in my life, dealing with my bipolar trying to be a single mom and like do all that parenty stuff, make sure you do your homework. Did you read for 20 minutes today? Like that kind of stuff was really hard for me and it still is. Um, my kid, I just, I just found out that the schooling that they're giving our kids right now during the lockdown is mandatory. I thought it was just like an option so they wouldn't, you know, slide back too far, come next for next year, whatever. No, no, it goes towards their grade. And so real quick, I'm gonna flip this. And uh, you're more than welcome to wear gloves. I don't because, oh, <laughs> oh, well, we'll just have to fix that. That was a happy accident, right? <laughs> so anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, gloves, right. So, um. I've seen some YouTube artists who like will wear gloves when they're painting and I really don't care. I mean, of course, I use acrylics, so 
they're pretty easy to wash off, but I don't care. I feel like it's kind of like a rite of passage. Like all my clothing, all my shirts, my pants, my jeans, my shorts, everything has paint on them. But I mean, that's part of who I am. So I mean, nobody ever says anything to me about it. So whatever. All right. So what I'm doing now is <laughs> this painting goes kind of fast. I'm kind of getting an extra thick layer on there now that I've gotten most of the coverage because you're gonna let this dry for like a few minutes maybe and then I'm gonna start adding all my colors so you want it to be slightly wet but not too wet and acrylics dry like freaking fast all right, I will clean that when I'm ready. I got some towels here. I want paperless in my house. I do have some paper towel left, but so I've got designated towels for painting now. Cleaning brushes, clean my hands, whatnot. All right, so I'm gonna sit here and I'm gonna let it dry. I'm gonna pay attention to it because I don't want it to get too dry. That's actually, I might need a little bit more. Oh, I washed my paintbrush okay well hmm. it's okay happy little accident right no big deal I can work with this um right so I guess I could just wash my brush I don't plan ahead very well to be honest I just kind of go with the flow this water is not looking so hot I ordered some really cool like brush cleaners you can put in the bottom. Let's see if I can get more out of this. That paintbrush is still wet, y'all. Ah, the panic has set in. Okay, sorry. That's why I wanna try oils. Like, I panic when I make a mistake and then I'm like, oh, I have to do something about it right away or else it's gonna be messed up. I mean, in a way, acrylics are nice in that factor, but I put way too much paint on this side. That's the problem. I don't know how to get it off. Whatever. If I overwork the painting, like I tend to do, it's gonna end up being messed up. All right, so while that's kind of drying, I will go over my brushes. So these are just some craft brushes that I think I got at the dollar store. And I've completely and utterly destroyed this one intentionally and uh, kind of shaped this one with some scissors and kind of made them the way that I wanted. I have a fine liner, which it really doesn't matter. This is what I'm gonna use to do the stars. Uh, I have another fine liner, which isn't that important. It's more for stars. And I've got this, which I don't know, I haven't used it yet, except for like one painting. So the, I really like the natural bristles. This is a natural bristle brush. It, brush words anyway um whereas the synthetic doesn't really i don't know it's okay for some things but i feel like i'm developing more and i want to use different techniques so this is kind of ready really to be honest and i haven't actually done a galaxy painting in a, a while and i don't have a reference because they're like mounted on my walls they're not hung on my walls they are mounted on my walls so um, yeah, we're just going to kind of wing it. I'm going to get my white over here, and I'm going to get my pink and my purple, and I feel like that blue is not the blue that I wanted. I have a second blue. Let me see what it looks like. Oh, okay. I should have gone with the blue blue, not the greenish blue. Anyway, my cat. Oh, my God. Okay, pause. Are you going <sighs> to... Listening to... No copyright sounds in the background, just in case you can hear it, because they're not copywritten. Uh, <laughs> I will still leave credit in the comments, or the description, whatever the heck that thing's called. My cat's in here. I didn't want him in here, because I knew he was going to screw around. <sighs> but I love him. So, until he decides to leave, I guess he's stuck in here. Oh, wow, I cannot focus to save my life. Well, that's what it's like to be me. Huh. <laughs> So anyway, um, I'm gonna, the white is more for like the center, right? So I'm going to use a little bit of white. And I like to use my little brush that has 
and shaped and I kind of want my galaxy to, and you can do it any way. I had it this way and I'm not really digging that, so. I'm going to rotate it. Yep, paint on the hands. All right, and uh, I kind of like to go at an angle. So, and the reason why it's still, maybe I shouldn't have used the white first. Okay, new plan of action. You never know what you're gonna do when you're painting. That's why I like, I'm, I mean, it's kind of chaotic, I feel. Most of the time I have no idea what I'm doing, even when I think I have 100% prepared for it. I haven't. Anyway, we're gonna use the blue. I'm trying to base it off of like how I've done it before. I watched a tutorial on YouTube once. So this is by far not a tutorial. I'm just painting. So do 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 do. I don't think that there's enough wet. Ah, uh, there we go. Okay. So kind of just getting that base down, and it's gonna blend with your black. You want that? I mean, no galaxy. It's perfectly colored. Trying to do this dabbing technique. I feel like I'm using the wrong brush, so let's just go in here with this one. Oh, there we go, much better. I have no idea what's going on with my uh, setup. Oh, it's hitting the door. Anyway, uh, so yeah, that's kind of my base. I feel like don't, don't overwork it. Don't overwork it. Okay, and um, so we need to get some more. Her, oopsie, I think that turned black, whatever. No, oh, I planned this ahead really, really well. Anyway, so trying to get those other colors in there. I will go with purple. I'm worried about this brush because I got pushed down into it earlier and I had to pull it out. I got too much paint. Okay. So I'm kind of just going sporadic all over with these little spots. And it really doesn't look like a whole lot right now, to be honest. It looks like a whole lot of nothing because there's no stars around it. And, you know, we're going to get that kind of typical shape that you think of when you think of a galaxy. So I got my pink down. Oh, that's purple. Wow. Okay. Also don't have all the other colors. So I'm going to go in with a little bit of pink. Maybe not that much. Holy crap. And there's also not enough blue. I use the blue as kind of a base to get it going. It's gotta start somewhere, right? Don't want to work the color in too much. It's more just dab, 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 move around. As it starts to fade, I go for a little bit more. Alright, back to the blue. Why am I holding that? I don't know. Well, I wanted the other brush, I think. Oh, my back is killing me. This chair. I got this chair from a friend. I had this hammock. And I hated it so much. It took up so much space on my patio. And I was like, hey. Do you want this? Because John said he didn't want it anymore and he didn't care about it. And I wanted more space out there. And she had showed interest, so I was like, do you want it? And she's like, no, I don't have room. But my mom might. And I was like, she's like, how much money for it? So I don't 
need money for it. I just want to get rid of it. Like, I got it from my parents. I paid like 35 bucks for it. It wasn't too expensive. I mean, focus. I can't focus and talk at the same time. All right, so I'm just building up layers. <clears throat> Need to add some whooshy to it. Whooshy. Yeah, well, you know. Anyway, so we're talking about the ceramic that I was trying to get rid of. So uh, I was like, I don't want anything, but I am looking for some bar stools. She's well in a trade. And lo and behold, she happened to have some bar stools. Now, granted, they were out in the garden and partially submerged into the ground and need a lot of work. I need to sand them and repaint them but they are like perfect other than you know the needing to clean them thing okay so what seems to be missing at this point now is a little bit of white and this is where i have to be really careful because the white is bright light That's where you're gonna have your focus. Kind of where it pops out. And you know that the center of the galaxy, oh shit, that turns not white. I don't want gray. It's okay, don't panic. I am panicking a little bit because this isn't quite going, oh crap, the way that I thought it was going to, whatever, we're making it right. I need to do a little bit more with a big brush. Silence, I apologize for that. I got really focused and into it. Um, I am so freaking hot right now. I turned my AC on because I had to close my window. There are these kids outside. Why does this look like crap? Because I don't remember how to do it. Uh, it could look worse, I guess. It just needs more color, right? I feel like I panic with acrylics. And I want to like not panic with the acrylics. So I got an oil set and I'm really excited to try it. I'm gonna do a Bob Ross video. Even though I don't really like watching Bob Ross, I've never actually watched him watch him. So this is just purely off of what I've seen. But his voice, and everybody says that they love his mellow voice. And I'm over here like, I can't, no, it's too mellow, like. I don't want, it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't pull me in. I'm looking for something to pull me in. That sounded weird. Anyway. <laughs> All right, so. Oh, now that I'm trying, talking about my hand, oh my gosh, I'm moving things. It's so hard to sit in this chair, even though I love it. Uh, anyway, so how have things been lately? Well, I've been trying to really focus on me. That's why I took like a break. I took a week off from here or so or something. I don't know. Anyway, the reason why I did was because I really needed to just focus on getting things done around the house, laundry, work, being a better mom, growing. Yeah, I just didn't want to, it, I felt like at first, I didn't want it to feel like a burden, I guess. Like, oh man, I have to do my YouTube video today. And, and I don't want that. So I took a break while I formulated a plan. This was my plan to paint. Paint this crappy, crappy painting. 
Don't talk like that. That's not nice to say things like that about your art. This is looking nothing like my old paintings. Because mm, I don't remember how I did them. So now I'm just winging it. Yep, I'm just winging it. So. I am like just about to say screw it and go to the next part. No, don't give up on it. Add some blue and purple. It's missing something, that's why. I don't know what it is. I feel like it's in the middle. It's missing stars. Maybe. Oh, see, now it's starting to kind of look like something, I guess. Plus, the black paint is starting to dry. So... That's kind of changing how it goes. Okay. So I'm trying to be less liberal this time with my dabbing. Ha ha ha, I said dabbing. Okay. I mean, it's definitely something. I feel like I did something before and I don't remember what it is, but we'll put a little nebula, a little, 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 a little nebula or gas cloud or something of the sort of purple. Kind of. And now I'm gonna clean it really quick because I want to make that darker. Just a little bit. Space is irregular, so it's not all gonna look uniform. So that's the purple one. Let's see what I can do. Um, here, I guess. So crappy. I know that's horrible to think that way. Like, I'm trying to think more positively. <sighs> I'm frustrated. Just a little bit. I think I'm just gonna get this little bit of white down. Little bit of white to kind of bring the center of it out. Okay, whatever, that's kind of where I'm just gonna stop because I don't want to look at it. Okay, so anyway, I'm gonna take a small break, um, step outside the room because I'm burning up, and I will be back with my next step that I take with doing my galaxies. And let's hope it doesn't look like crap. All right, welcome back. And I have let this painting sit for not that long, actually. I put a fan on it to make it go faster. So it's it's like 90% dry, whatever, good enough. So the next step is to add our stars. So I've got my white ready. And in order to make it so that I have too much paint, ha <laughs> ha, in order to make it so that you can like make the stars, you need to mix some water with your white. <laughs> okay, so you don't need a whole lot. You can always add more water. You can never take water away once you've done it. I find I like starting with a small amount if it gets too, I don't know, thin, I'll add a little paint from what I've already had before, which I always start out with a little bit more. I feel like I waste so much paint though. Anyway, 
so the consistency you're looking for is so that it can run on its own, but you don't want it to be like super, super runny. So, but just enough so that it's kind of gonna flow a little bit freer on you. So I take my liner and I just dip it in paint. And this is the part where you gotta be really careful. Okay, get off some excess paint. You don't want too much. And then I'm gonna flick it. Well, I'm gonna try to flick it. I might not have made it wet enough. Yeah, it's kinda iffy right now. Yep, it's not wet enough. Oh gosh, that sounded really, really dirty. Anyway, <laughs> so my mind's in the gutter like way more than it should be. Anybody who knows me, <sighs> innuendos galore. Add a little more water, let's see how that goes. Okay. Yeah, this is messy by the way. Okay, so that's better. I've got a little more paint. I'm okay. <laughs> Life is a struggle. I might just use a different brush. I'm not used to doing this. Ah, I made it look. Okay, happy accident, happy accident. I'm not used to doing this on a canvas. I'm used to doing it. Well, I think it's looking more abstract now. Oh, the question is how do you fix something you've screwed up so bad? I guess I haven't screwed up that bad. It could be worse, right? I know how to do it when it's lying down. Whatever, learning process, right? I'm learning at the same time as I'm painting. I'm looking back, how's it look? A hot mess. Oh well. Here we go. I think I got too long of a brush. It's a different technique to use. And I'm getting paint like literally everywhere. You're gonna do that when you paint. Oh, more streaky streakies, maybe. Ooh, you know what? I have an idea. I wonder if I can figure out how to do that on purpose. There we go. Kind of. There's paint everywhere. I mean, I don't want to put this many stars, to be honest, but. I mean, space is filled with stars, right? Anyway, okay, I'm just gonna call it good at that. I'm covered in paint. So is this little thingy. Whoops. Oh, I made it worse. I should have just let it dry. Whatever, right, that looks cool. Okay, so I haven't actually taken a step back and looked at this. Um, I mean, it looks okay. String theory. <laughs> That's what the strings are. Anyway, so thanks for sitting with me as I painted this and rambled on about random stuff and sat in silence. Uh, I kind of like this. Um, so I think that I'm gonna do it again. So I look forward to having you back at my studio. Y'all take care now, bye.